<laughs> Welcome back to the 2020 Our Town Grill Master Grand Finale. Our judges here are um, still working on round one because we want to make sure they have enough time to sample each dish that has been carefully prepared by our grill masters. Can't rush the judges. And they are looking into several categories here. They're looking for taste, tenderness, appearance, and creativity. And we've definitely seen a little bit of everything. You so want to talk far. creativity? Check out these dishes coming in now for round two. Now, wow. as a reminder, earlier this afternoon, when our um, Grill Masters arrived, they were presented some meat for, for round number two, and they were presented some pork chops. So, and it was this like the is, pressure. It is, and this is what they have done with said pork chops. Now, this is how we can really appreciate this presentation aspect, I think, right now, as they're bringing these in. I mean, that's like a charcuterie board of for pork. And the vegetables, and I... I just know those are farm fresh. He said that when I was produce. talking to yes. him earlier. That's Granville's from Our Town from Paris. Paris. And then Hoopston's is right next to him there with John's. I mean, this is Tim is going to be so sad he, he missed this today. Poor Tim. <laughs> and I will say, we roast, you know, you can roast meat, but you can also roast your veggies. That's And they've right. done a good job of that here today. Okay. So I want to let these guys really be able to focus here because it is a tough job it is and they have a lot to think about and a lot to consider um, I, I don't even know if they're done with round one yet making their notes and and chatting there about their specialty dish that everybody prepared at home so I really like the range of judges that we have I think that says a lot you know because we have someone I actually think this no hate to Jack obviously love Jack but I do think it's good to have the common folk, you know, because food is for everyone. I agree. I and, agree. And I really do value his opinion. So well, we also have representatives from the Illinois Pork Producers Association and um, local restaurants. Yeah, so. so it looks like we've got one, two, three, four out of the five. Okay, here comes in um, Mark Beach from Our Town Rant Tool coming in with his pork chop dish. And then we're going to let our judges um, kind of... Like Jack said, cleanse the palate before they start on round two here. I appreciate the different style of buns, right. though, that they were yeah. using I in that so cool too. pork. I see a pretzel bun, and then I see, like, a regular, like, hamburger-style bun. So, What do you think is harder, coming up with a dish to prepare, you know, at home and, and do before the competition, or the time pressure of being forced to, you know, use the same right. cut of pork it's as everyone else? Right. I think definitely Thank option number two would be a little more pressure here on these guys but these guys i mean they're pros they obviously know what they're doing out here and this isn't their first rodeo <laughs> it is not as we've seen all this summer and i will just say all of these men are fabulous and i have really enjoyed getting to know them this summer they've invited me into their homes they do all sorts of things some of them well, are home cooks some of them run catering businesses well and I, yeah and i love that a lot of them give of back to their community that they call home and so it's great that they're they're great ambassadors and representatives of their oh, towns town. and i hope our viewers at home can really kind of take this as a sporting event and yeah. hope they're rooting for their hometowns well and this is going to be something we are going to try and continue um in the future because we do have a traveling trophy that's going to stay at the station with with our winner's name um, engraved on the plaque um, maybe let's check in here and see how the guys are doing are we still on round one guys you gotta make sure we get all the details in there. You gotta tr go back and try it again yeah. because you don't wanna yeah. you don't and wanna again. try the first one and then try the last one and think, oh well, that last one was great. Well, because it was, but you gotta go back and make sure the first one okay. you didn't forget something or you didn't make a note on it. How you don't wanna we, um, judge in a words in the order where the first one ends up getting last because you ate it first well, and then everything point. else is so good. So you gotta go back and try it again a couple times just to make sure you what your notes you first took down is, is what you wanted to so say. So I'm guessing so. everybody here came on empty stomachs. <laughs> yeah, good thing I didn't eat today, like yes. usual. So, yes. Yes. Yeah, we it's very nice. nice. It's, it's have very you, good. Have you guys been judges before? Or is this your first time? It's well, my first time. We know yeah. Jack has judged chili, so... I forgot! If he yeah. can judge chili, he can definitely judge pork. Well, the, the problem, and the guys here and I are talking about that, is because, like, it's all... Like, chili is chili. You know, and like, well, I mean, like, it's all generally the same, and this is so much different. The variety is so much different, so it does make it harder to do because, like, the, everything obviously tastes good, but it's like, it's different stuff, and so you have to, you have to judge it based on what they were trying to do, and it's, 
that's why it's hard because it's, it's all a different. tough job. Yeah. We, we totally feel for you. I, Would I, it be bad I to pull in? Oh, go I, ahead. I think it does an outstanding job just looking at the diversity of pork yeah. itself. Mm -hmm. That it can, you know, it's great as a rib. It's great as a side. You can you cook it up and pull it and put it as a barbecue and uh, and, and grill it uh, or grind it up and make a burger. I mean, it just the diversity of what you can do with uh, the same product is amazing. And they did an outstanding job. Okay, I want to make sure that you all get time to try your second dish. So we probably ought to need to um, start making our final decisions okay. on round number one so that you have enough time to um, taste and judge dish they got number second, two. Uh, cards? On the, on the yes, yes cards. they got another set of okay. cards. Mike? Another set of cards, please, Mike? Well, no, it's just for the next round. Oh, right. just, me. just me. Oh. We're so glad we have some help here. Can make sure, can you, you understand Are all they these? Are cleansing their palate with water? Right outside the line on some, does that all <laughs> make sense? That way. And you'll total them? It yeah, looks we'll that them. way. <laughs> okay. These guys are awesome. Calculations are coming right in now. here for round doing, one. The judge's notes. So again, 40 points here for round one, 40 points for round two. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Aaron, this round is going to be round so one. tough. Complete. It is going to be so tough. <laughs> and. Everyone here will be a good teammate and a good sport, I That's think. That's right. So, they will. Even okay. though they're not really teammates. But exactly. Okay. <laughs> We're going to let them uh, start round two, and um, we'll see how things wrap up here. But, hey, we need to meet um, the guys behind the trophies that they'll be taking home today. So we'll check in with Awards Limited coming up.